All right, let's finish up the layout portion of our site build by doing a few things. Number one, applying a new theme and rearranging the blocks. Number two, adding a couple of views and rearranging our menus. And that should get us to our site looking pretty good at this part of the class. Head over to drupal.org slash project slash integrity. It's a minimalistic Drupal 8 bootstrap theme for business corporate portfolio kind of sites. It's a little bit nicer than the one we looked at earlier, and it's really easy to configure. Go ahead and install that, please. Right click on the tar file, copy the link, come over to your site, and install a new theme. Let's enable that new theme by scrolling down and clicking Install and Set as Default. Let's take a quick peek at the settings. You'll notice that the settings here are really minimal, except for a couple of things. We're going to update our logo a little bit differently, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But Integrity has a front page slideshow. You can turn the slideshow on or off, and you can add your own description and images for each slide. We'll leave it at the default for now, just so we can see. Click Save Configuration, and head over to your front page. And so you'll see how we've got a couple of things wrong. We've got our footer menus in the wrong place. We've got our site name and slogan here. But we don't have a logo yet. We've got a slideshow running. And as I scroll down, you'll see that the block regions here on the left are slightly altered with the fonts and the layouts, but the content is still the same, as well as my front page. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the block regions. That's the first thing you do when you install a new theme. Go to Structure and Block Layout, and demonstrate block regions. This particular theme has a lot of them, and it's really great. There's a secondary menu across the top, a main menu, highlighted, featured top, the breadcrumb trail, sidebar first and second, help and content, and then down here at the bottom, some really nicely formatted featured bottom first, second, and third with a gray background, and then footer first, second, third, and fourth, and a subfooter, each with its own different shading. So it's really nice that you can actually go ahead and put things in there, and they'll get formatted nicely. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to move the Powered by Drupal down to subfooter. I'm going to put the footer menu in footer first. I'm going to leave the main navigation in main menu. That makes more sense. But site branding, I'm going to put in footer second. The secondary menu is our user account menu. And we remember that's at the very top here. That makes no sense at all. So let's go ahead and put that in sidebar first. Featured top, breadcrumb looks good. Content, help, page title, primary admin actions, tabs, and main page content. We'll leave all of that the same. Hotel slides, brochure, welcome to Hotels of Sydney. Let's slide that up to the top. We'll leave sidebar second, featured bottom first, and third empty. Let's go ahead and click Save. That should clean up our site just a little bit. All right, so I've got my menus here, which we'll fix in a moment. And our site information ended up down in our footer. That's definitely not what we want. And I'm going to put that back into the main menu, of course. That's where it was and where it belongs. Click Save Block. And there we are. It's back where it should be. So this new theme, nice look and feel. We said we were going to do a couple more things, including a couple of views. And we're going to fix our menus as well. Let's go ahead and do that in the next video.